Praise the Lord. Everybody, I said, praise the Lord. On this side, are you praising the Lord, everybody? Praise the Lord. I came so that we can set the angel in you free. There is an angel in you. And if we can do anything today, all I want to do is to let out that angel inside you and to say, release this angel. And, uh, you know, when they invited me and they introduced me, they referred to me as a pastor. And, and, you know, pastor, the pastor has to, you know, refer to the Bible. Are you all right with that? You ask me, what's the Bible? Why don't you sit down for a moment? I'm thinking about, I hold the Bible in my hand. And many of you, you have the Bible in your hand. Do you have any Bible there? Where is the Bible now? Where is the Bible? Praise the Lord. What then is the Bible? B-I-B-L-E. Basic instruction before living us. Here you are in the world on earth. And God wants you to be a success. And therefore he gives you basic instruction before living us. That's what the Bible is. And in that Bible, I'm just going to read two verses of scripture to you. And it's in Psalm 8, verses 4 and 5. It says, What is man that thou art mindful of him in our normal, regular, day-to-day -day English? That means, what is man that you make so much of him? What's a boy? What's a girl? What's a youth that you count on him so much? And then he tells us in verse 5, For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. That is, God has made you in such a way that when we compare you, the possibilities in you, when we compare the potentials in you, when we compare the power within you, and then we compare the angels, it says God has made the angels just a little bit higher. And God has made you just a little bit lower than the angels. And I told you that what we're doing here today is setting the angel in you, what? Free. A N G E L. That's angel. A for achiever. Setting the achiever in you free. I want to come and tell you today that you are going to achieve. A nobody will become somebody. Because we have what it takes. To set the achiever free, N is for the noble man. To set the noble man in you free, G is for the giant. There is a sleeping giant within everyone here, and I'm going to wake up that giant. We're going to set the giant in you free. E is the explorer. You know, before these explorers came, and before they did what they did, there were a lot of seas and oceans and minerals all over the earth. But nobody ever discovered anything until the explorers came. And I said, all that we need to explore and find out. Does that mean that all those resources are dried up? I said, no, they're still there. But you have to be an explorer. That's why we come to search the explorer in you free. And L is a liberator. There must be somebody here that will liberate the captives. There must be somebody here that will liberate this generation from the poverty and the ignorance in which we find ourselves. And that's the reason why we came this time, number one, to set the achiever in you free. You will achieve. 
and to say the noble man, you'll not be an ignoble man, ignorant man, a refrap, somebody that is in, not doing well. You'll be a noble man, a noble woman in Jesus' name. And then the giant, the giant, when the spies went to the land of promise, they came back and they said they saw giants in the land. I said, you, you went there too early. You should have come in this generation. You'll find a lot of giants in this land. I said, there are a lot of giants in this land. And if you didn't know there's a giant spirit within you, that is the spirit of the conqueror. That's why he came to just give you this information. I want to get something done. I'm going to walk and live like a giant. You are the person I'm talking about. It's going to happen. I said it to happen. And then I see a lot of scientists over here, and I see a lot of biologists over here, and a lot of politicians here in the making, and you are going to explore. And when, you know, when I come to old age and I sit back and I read about you in the newspapers and I see you on the television and I hear about you, I say, that's my man, that's my woman, that's the person we came to set free. And you are going to be free. And then I'll be reading about you, you go to foreign countries and you liberate the people who are in captivity. Anywhere there's problem, you will be a solution to every place. There is a problem in Jesus' name. Setting the angels in you free. Who are the angels? A, for the ambassador. Don't I have ambassadors here? You represent this country in years to come. You're going to represent our country. You are the ambassador. I'm talking about angels, national heroes, national heroes. And awards and medals being given out, you'll be one of them. And angels, I have governors here. I said I have governors here. Not, not this one that they do in some of the state. They say, governor for one day. I'm not raising up governor for one day. I'm raising up governors for four years. Governors for eight years. Are they, are they here today? Where are they? You are there. Your name is written down already. And then the executives, raising up executives for the Lord. And then we have the leaders, will be leaders in Jesus' name. Now, it talks about being made a little bit lower than the angels. And who wrote that, by the way? You see where I read it? It's from the Psalms of David. And when you think about the Psalms of David, I'm thinking about David himself. There is no time today to dig deep into the Bible. If we had time, I would have shown you where even a gentile, a foreigner, referred to David and said, you have the wisdom of an angel. And then a woman talked to David and he said, you have the wisdom of an angel. Another person from the household of Saul spoke to David and said, you are an angel. That's why I'm talking to you, number one. I'm going to talk about the rejection of the angel within you. The rejection of the angel within you. Number two, I'm going to talk on the recognition. The recognition of the angel within you. Number three, the release. The release. Everybody say release. You are going to release that angel. The release of the angel in you. Number one, what's number one? The rejection of the angel in you. I'm looking at David now. And David was in the field. And what did, what was he in the field? Because the father gave David just to take care of the animals, take care of the animals. That's the best the father could think about David. He said, David, your senior brothers will go to the battlefield and deliver the nation from the Philistines. But you, you go to the field and take care of those little animals. And he went, and he went. Don't despise the day of small beginnings. But that's all they thought about him. As they got to the battlefield, the senior brothers were there. And then Jesse, the father, sent David. You know what he sent David to do? Go and give them food. That's all they thought he could do. And then when he got there, the senior brother said, Why are you here? I know the pride of your heart. 
you know, they don't know our future. All these uh, big, big people, adults, fathers and mothers, and all these Eliab, they don't know our, they don't know our future. And they say, we know the pride of your heart. And then David said, why are you saying that about me? Is there not a cause? I am here on earth for a cause. You are here on this world for a cause. Am I right? And then eventually, Goliath came. And then he bragged and said, anybody that's able to challenge me, give me a man. And instead of giving him a man, a boy showed up. And when the boy showed up, Saul said, oh, I'm sorry. I know you have a good heart, a good intention. And you have a good desire. But you know, this Goliath is a great, great giant. You are not able. That's what they tell us. We're too small. We have no consequence. We have no body. And we cannot do it. They rejected the young boy. And he said, I can I say I can. I said I can. Daddy will tell you you cannot. You say you can. Eliab will tell you you cannot. You say I can. And Saul the king will tell you, go back and sit down. You cannot. You say I can. And then the boy showed up. And he showed up not with all the, you know, instruments and the sophisticated things of Saul. He said, Saul, take what you have. There's something that the younger generation know how to use that the older generation do not know how to use. And there's something the younger generation can take like this, just a sling and the stone inside. You know, those of us who are old, if you give me a sling now, I cannot, I cannot operate that thing. I cannot use that thing, but give me a little David and bring a sling and bring a stone. I'm telling you, you can do exploits with that. And so he came. And when he came, Goliath looked at him and said, what is this? Who is this? That you come to me and then thank God for David. I said thank God for David. Anybody having the spirit of David there today? Where are you? You will. I said you will. And then David said you come to me with your sword and stave. I come to you in the name of the Lord God of Israel whom you have defied. And without wasting time, he ran. Old people, don't tell them that I said so. Old people, they have forgotten how to run. But young people, is there something in you that can run in this generation? I said, is there something in you that can run in this generation? You know, I'm trying to get younger myself because I still want to run. I said, I still want to run. When I see you young people and you're running and you're a go-getter and you're saying, I'm getting something, I say, old people, don't wait behind. I'm running with the young people. And I will run with you. And then we're told, David ran. Before you know what, something entered into Golase that never entered before and it brought him down. You will bring them down. But you know what I'm telling you? They rejected him. They rejected him. And that's what they will do. But teacher will say, you cannot. And the mama might say, you cannot. And grandmother may say, you cannot. Everybody may say, you cannot. But you rise up with the spirit of it and say, I can. And you will in Jesus' name. My point number two is the recognition of the angel in you. And you know, you need to know what you have. You need to know what you have. If you don't know what you have, who is going to tell you what you have? You are the one to say, I am in this world for something. And I'm going to make somebody out of this little boy that you see. I'm going to make somebody out of this little girl you see. The recognition of the angel in you. Eventually, some people now began to encourage David, but you know, he had already encouraged himself. He wasn't lying. He was rising up. He was on the go. He was on the move. Already he was doing something before somebody came to recognize the angel in him. And when they did that, the angel in him, what angel am I talking about? A-N-G-E-L. Number one, the angel of achievement. You know, angels... Angels don't know any impossibility. Angels don't know any setback. Angels never allow discouragement. 
once they know that is the place I'm going, they are at it and they get there. Once you know, when the spirit of the angel comes within you, and you have the angel of achievement, you'll say, that's where I am going, you will reach there. We'll pray for you. We'll support you. We'll give you all the things you need, and everything you need that will help you, we're going to place at your disposal, and you will reach there in Jesus' name. I'm talking about the angels of nobility, that you're noble, that you just know that here am I in this world. You, you'll dress different, you'll talk different. You, you will not talk the, you know, the language of the street boys and the street girls. You'll be moving on because the road is not meant for me to stay there. The road is meant for me to walk on and get somewhere. And I'm telling you, I'm getting there. I said, I'm getting there. And then number three, think about this. What's the next letter? I said, what's the next letter? Is the angel of greatness. The angel of greatness. I will be great. I said, I will be great. You know, they, they say, isn't that pride? I said, I don't know what it is. You know, if everybody wants to be small, everybody wants to be a grasshopper in every state, every boy, every girl wants to be a grasshopper, who is going to be the president in the future when everybody is a grasshopper? Who is going to be the lecturer, the professor? Who is going to be the scientist when everybody is a grasshopper? I'm not of the relatives of the, I'm not of the family of grasshoppers. I am of the family of great people. I said I'm of the family of great people the angel of greatness and then the angel of excellence what else do you think i will be and what else do you think i will do i'm going to be that angel i recognize that i recognize that because god has given you and given to me all the resources we need to be what we ought to be and we will be what we ought to be give me a good amen, amen. And now, the angel of love. The angel of love. You just love daddy and love mommy. And you love your teachers and you love the principal. And even the people that try to hurt you. And they try to say some bad things against you. They just love everybody until they forget how to eat. We're going to change the hatred in the hearts of some young people around us. With our smile, with our love, with our affection, with our tenderness, with our good words. We're good. Everyone, you know, sometimes when they are they're angry at nothing and they hate almost everybody. It's like they hate life itself. Anywhere you go, you'll spread the sunshine of love. I said you'll spread the sunshine of love. And then people will know that is an angel right there. Angel of achievement and the angel of nobility and the angel of greatness and the angel of excellence and the angel of what's that i said what's that i said what's that tell me out loud the angel of love that love is in your rest, flowing even through me to me here. And when you are loved by, you know, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 of young people, they just love you to your potentials. I'm climbing up, you are climbing with me. Now for me to conclude, for me to conclude, I'm talking about the release, the release of the angel in you. I, I'm, I'm asking a question and I say, how do you release the angel? How do you release the angel? I don't like to be negative. I'd like to always be positive. But I'm going to use the word not. As you release the angel, not looking at difficulties. Not looking at difficulties. Do you know that when God sends an angel to this world to go and deliver a message to whoever, to Abraham, or to Gideon, or to Manoah, the mother and the father of something. When God sends an angel, the angel never looks at the long distance between heaven and earth, never looking at difficulties. The angel never looks at, I've never been there. They don't know me. I don't know them. I don't have contacts. I don't have long leg. And I've never done that before. I've never been there before. An angel never thinks about, never thinks about that. That means then, number one, not looking at difficulties. Number two, 
not looking at the doubters. Number three, not lacking in desire. Not lacking in desire. You know what stops people? You know why? They don't reach the place they ought to reach because they, they lack desire. Desire. But if there is something that is exciting about you and something that is saying on the inside, I am going to be something. I'm going to do something. I'm going to achieve in this life. I'm going to release the angel within me and I'm going to have that and maintain that desire until I get there. Not lacking in desire. That, that's what gets us there. That's how we release the angel within us. Think about what we have. We have God and we have Jesus Christ and we have the Holy Spirit and we have the promises of God and we have a brain and we have hands and we have legs what is it that all these professors have that you don't have what is it that all these achievers what they have that you don't have you have everything but what is lacking in some people is the desire therefore number three not lacking in what tell me out loud desire number four number four this is great this is wonderful not losing your determination not losing your determination here we are today i'm going to assist you today you're going to take a decision i said you'll take a decision and then you say i am determined it's just a matter of time in a few years time by the grace of god this is what i will be and in a few years time this is where i will be in a few years time this is what i will be doing and if you don't lose determination i'll see you again a few years time you'll say whatever you want to call me daddy pastor mentor whatever you'll say you said so i'll be there i am there already you will you be there you'll be there in jesus name number five number five not living in discouragement and you know what discouragement is discouragement is a dark room where people develop their negatives discouragement is the dark room where people develop their their negatives when you get discouraged it's like your brain stops functioning when you get discouraged, your feet will be so weak, cannot carry you. When you get discouraged, your hands will be so kind of feeble, you cannot even write your name. When you get discouraged, your eyes are dimmed with tears, and you cannot see a fire again. But as you release the angel within you, and then you say, I will not live in discouragement. Number six, not leaning on deceivers not leaning on deceivers and you know those deceivers they don't have any foundation as you look at them they look like a, a pillar a strong pillar but there's no so, there's no foundation and if you lean on those deceivers you will fall but i'm here to tell you that you will not fall because you make up your mind this angel within you we're going to release it and then it means that you'll not lean on those deceivers. When you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then you come to completeness. We're going to wrap everything up. Is that all right? And we'll wrap it up. Not limiting your deliverer. God is your deliverer. Any yoke, he'll break it today. Any attack, he'll it kind of crumble it today. And anything the devil has put before you and has said, you will not pass. I'm telling the devil, I'm announcing to the devil, all the young people hearing my voice today, we're going to pass that mark. All that barrier we're going to jump over. And all those holders we're going to go over. Everything the devil, men, women, wherever they are, in the village, in the city, that they put before you. Today, we're going to jump everything and we're going to break every record. Every record we're going to break in this land. In education, we're going to break records, those of us who are here. And in science, medicine, politics, whatever, we're going to break the records that others have set before us. And then you put your name down that once the angel within you is released today, I read about your name. 
because there is the almighty god the everlasting arm supporting you and helping you and we will not limit the deliverer are you ready i said are you ready if you're ready while you sit champions don't sit champions stand up champions stand up achievers stand up and you are saying this is the day tell me out loud this is the day the angel in me is to be released today why don't you just close your eyes and tell the lord lord i'm here for it for a purpose i'm here because this angel in me must be released something is happening already something is happening already the lord is giving you that spirit of the conqueror that determination that desire that you're going to reach that destination and nothing is going to stop you i announce to all enemies of progress i announce to all enemies of peace the champions are coming clear out of the way the champions are coming the angels are coming the achievers are coming don't look back make up your mind god has called you to be an achiever you will be setting the angel in you free in jesus name we pray did i hear your amen if you're making up your mind that you're going to join hands with the lord jesus christ so that he will hold your hand and take you to the place you ought to be in life i'm waiting for you to raise up your hand you're telling the lord you're taking a decision today and you're saying lord i'm going somewhere now i have a destiny i have a destination and i'm going to get to that place no matter what happens no matter what anybody satan man human whatever no matter what they do with jesus christ i'm going to get there where are you just raise up your hand praise the lord this is wonderful outside inside anywhere you are you, you're making a decision today and you're saying yes i give my hand to the lord i give my heart to the lord and we're going to get there with the lord father in the name of jesus i pray for all these young people who are raising up their hands we're getting to the mountain top and we're getting to the place of destination and destiny i pray lord as they have accepted that they're going to be with you and for you affirm it to lord now in jesus name all the failures of the past all the sins of the past all the immoral acts of the past wipe them away and forgive them in jesus name now the spirit that conquers the spirit that overcomes and the spirit that gets to the destination give to every one of them now in jesus name lord Put it down in your record in heaven that this boy, this girl here today is going to be an achiever and will rise to the highest potential for which you created him, for which you created her. And Lord, we're waiting to see the manifestation. And we know it will happen. We thank you because we know it's happening already. And we know it's done already. Every hurdle every blockage every barrier take out of the way in jesus name i know it's done in jesus name we pray and everybody said can you say that again before i go to sit now pay attention pay attention pay attention intention without action makes a zero intention i want to do good i want to i'm going to go here i'm going to go there and then when we finish today then you do it nothing intention without action makes a zero wait intention with action makes a hero intention with action makes a hero and i release you to be a hero in jesus name that's who you are Thank you and God bless you.